Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor, and I'm back with another video on level 2 that is projection of line inclined to both HP as well as VP. Here we go. So we've got a line AB who which is 90 millimeters long. So let me write all the data. True length is 90 millimeters. Secondly, it is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the HP. So that's that's clear cut. Line is making an angle of uh, 30 degrees with the horizontal plane. So we've got theta is equal to 30 degrees. What's next? End point A is 12 mm above HP. So one end of the line that is end A, it's 12 mm above the HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So DA is equal to 20. What else? The front view measures 65 mm. Okay. So the front view length, in fact, well, that also has been given to us front view length. So let me just write FVL, FVL and that is equal to 65 millimeters. Guys, remember front view length is nothing but A dash B dash. Okay. Let me just do this quickly. Okay, fine. So this is all we have. Now we've got to make the entire drawing. We've got to make the final front view that is A dash B dash and the final top view that is AB. And we'll also work out at the end of the video. Um, uh, what is the inclination that the line makes with the vertical plane that is phi has to be calculated okay so let's go ahead and let's make a reference line fine what else do we have we've got ha 12 so that is 12 above done and we've got da 20 so h was above d was going to be below that's d fine what else can we use well we can use this data immediately true length 90 millimeters at an angle of 30 degrees so that is true length 90 millimeters at an angle of 30 degrees. Okay. And this, if I can just make a horizontal line passing through B1, that is going to be the locus of point B or end B in the front view. That's it. Now what? Did you just see what I have done? We know that the sum that the front view is going to be somewhere along this locus line. How far is that front view from A dash? Well, that front view or one end of the front view rather B dash is at a distance of 65 from A dash. So we know that the front view lies here. Okay. One end will be here. Other end will be somewhere here at a distance of, well, that's 65. So with A dash as center and with the radius of 65 in your compass, you can, you can put an arc over here with A dash as center. And this precisely gives you the location of B dash and join B dash with A dash. That's the final front view. Now, just like A dash and A are connected to each other with the help of a straight line in the same manner, B dash will be connected to B somewhere here exactly in the vertical line. Okay. We'll draw that eventually, but for now, let me, let me have the locus line of this A in top view. Let me drop a line rather produce a line from B1 dash and this corresponding top view is going to be B1. Now with A as center and AB1 as a radius, let me rotate this in the anti clock in the clockwise sense. That's it. And now drop a line from B dash that will intersect this arc somewhere here. Here. Guys, this here, just like A dash has A, B dash will be having B. Fine. That's all. That's the final top view. And this over here, if you want to make the true length, this green colored line is meant for the true length. So the true length remains same above XY or below XY. So in your compass, Take a radii of 90 millimeters and then with this A as the center, cut an arc. Okay. And join this. This is going to be same stuff. This is 90 millimeters also, but the angle over here, guys, is phi. Similarly, the angle over here is theta. And this angle right here is beta. And I've also done the measurement. You guys can go ahead and check all these from your drawing also. Let me show you. Okay. This was given to you. And all of this has been worked out from the drawing. So you can check it whether your values and my values are same or not or close. They should be very close to each other. That's it. So guys, that was all for today. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and have a nice day.